Hi everyone, how you doing? Hope you're well and hope you're safe. And welcome to Cities Skylines. And this is the PlayStation 4 version. And what I'm going to do today is just show you how to get started on how to get making money, uh, making a bit of profit and from the city. Uh, and how to set it up so that traffic doesn't become too much of an issue uh, and that's that's the idea and so we're gonna go for a new game and uh, new map and there's loads to choose from and this was the and um, the mayor's edition I think it was called and uh, comes with and um, loads of random DLC in there and to be fair half of it I've not and even looked at yet and despite the amount of hours I've spent playing City Skylines and I'm almost addicted to it and to be honest and if there is a, uh, a helpline for uh, addiction to City Skylines and please do drop the number uh, in the comments I'd be grateful and um, I'm going to choose the um, Arid Plains map and 79% um, of it is suitable for building. You've got good outside connections, uh, and it's one that I've been sort of playing around with, and um, sort of different ways to build the city. Uh, we're going to leave it called Springfield. Uh, I'm going to put it on left-hand traffic because I'm in the UK, so we know which side of the road to drive on. So we'll do that. And um, disaster frequency don't need any more challenges so that is off and I'm not going to put any cheats on I'm going to do this and um, sort of properly as it were and so that is useful to be able to really play around and really see what is possible with the game um, but that's for um, another time I think so let's get going I think we're all good there uh, dynamic weather day night cycle right let's get started and um, I've got a few um, tips that I'll share with you along the way and um, got things that to be honest I wish I'd known right from the get-go uh, it would have saved me a lot of time and made things easier and um, actually took me um, three attempts to get a city going and that didn't um, succumb to bankruptcy uh, third attempt uh, and we got it third time lucky as they say and um, yes hello so and um, let's get rid of that and here is where we're starting and uh, you see if we scooch over here and uh, that's our highway and uh, now first things first before I go any further stop time and um, you'll see in the um, bottom left hand of the screen and uh, it's got the date there 21st of March and, and you know, that for a minute uh, and that's now paused and the reason that I've done that right from the start is that if time is paused then I can't lose any money so that's the first thing to do and I'll talk you through the, the, the part bet you've got $70,000 and to spend and the name of the city Springfield and if the next one tells you what your population is and how many are happy or not happy uh, and then the uh, next one uh, you've got the three sort of, um, rectangular bars going along and uh, the green one is that best shows you the demand for um, three different um, areas the green is residential the middle one which is you can barely see is blue and that's uh, commercial and uh, the bottom one should be orange and is the technically should be yellow but yellow orange and is for industry and when the bar is full it means that that particular and um, sonal area and you need more of it basically that's in demand and so to start off and um, the only thing you can do is build a road and the only road and it's all the different roads you've got which we'll see as we go through and uh, the only road we can build is a two-lane road and um, it's a little bit annoying but there we go and all I'm going to do is build uh, as little as I can 
and there we go and then that unlocks more roads and as you can see we've now got um, a two lane one way road so we'll then press square and we'll bulldoze that and we'll do this so what we'll do um, is and uh, I don't think we can get uh, we'll leave it as um, two lanes for now and um, we'll keep things cheap and cheerful initially and um, the way we're going to go with this um, is we are going to have um, two entrances um, and then one exit this is just initially and um, we're going to go and um, sort of off to here a bit I'm then going to oh don't want to do that and we'll do a bit of a curve we'll curve it round to there what I'll then do is we'll say yeah from about here probably doesn't really matter where and we're, we're gonna set that back to straight we're gonna come off out this way try and roughly line it up to there and and what we will do um, is um, I'm going to come in a bit further I'm going to line this up with here Ooh. Uh, no I'll just do that I'm, not one of it's not exactly straight then need our exit road which will come out to here and again we'll do a little bit of a curve and then set that back to straight and again we'll sort of need to come out a bit Whoop out a bit more and straighten that oh maybe it'll let me okay fine we'll have, have an, an angle do I care nope <laughs> and there we go so what we now have and um, once we sort out the direction and um, you press triangle to get that menu up um, by the way and um, just in case you were wondering how I did that um, it's not magic I um, promise uh, just change direction and oh, and that little bit there and there we go and so we've got let me say what I'm going to do and is uh, I've done that the wrong type of raid for what I want I'll sort that out uh, let's do that now I will change that to um, a two way six lane road uh, and we'll upgrade and uh, just because it will get a bit busy so and there we go so that is the um, entrance to the and exit to the city sorted for now what I'm now going to do is I'm going to stick with a six lane road and I'm going to go to straight going to come out just a little bit more and then I'm going to go this way all the way down just try and make sure it's straight ish and I don't want to come too close to this to the water but it's not too much of an issue we'll go there and that's that well, we can even hear the water look. and what I'm going to do now is utilities and I'm going to do this and just so that I don't completely run out of money and I'm going to try and keep things as sort of green as I can so I'm going to start by putting that there uh, and then uh, we need some water so I'm going to stick you there and we need some sewage facilities so I'm going to leave a bit of a gap we 
because we'll need some more um, water pumps at some point. Uh, I'm going to pop you there. And then uh, we will link you two up. Okay. Marvellous. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this down to a two lane road. And we're going to build a little um, housing estate. So, some residential area. I'm not going to get too close to the highway. I'm going to come along a bit to there. Um, and that leaves a bit of a gap. Uh, I'm going to link th whoop, that up to there. I'm going to come down here and do the same. It's a bit close. Do that there. Just run a little bit of a gap between the two. Uh, there. Uh, and we'll do one more. Probably about right to be fair. Oh. And there. So that is the residential area. And we're going to need to provide them with some electricity. So, I need to link this up there, and then I'm going to bring you up and stick you there. So that's my residential area sorted, and I'm going to whiz over here. This will be a little, I say little, it's not going to be little at all really. This is going to be the industry zone, and I'm keeping them completely separate. And that's why I've got this path in the middle and here and to separate residential traffic from industrial. Um, yes, I know about the zoning. And I'd just like to remind you, uh, which is uh, useful as your first time playing, but this isn't my first rodeo. And now I'm going to um, go for... Um, now the problem is, if you look at the four-lane road, it's got a bit separating it down the middle, uh, which isn't ideal. Uh, and as this is industry, and I'm going to keep it at six. Uh, and so I'm going to come along here. I'm going to go along here. Oh, game's getting a bit funny. That's fine. It's probably because I've got so many different uh, cities that I've been messing around with. I'm going to come along here. I'm going to do exact another behave yourself. Another curve again. Set that to straight. And we're going to come down there like that. And I'm going to do a separate wind turbine here. That's only going to get me six. Uh, let's see. The darker the sign, the more um, electric it's going to produce. The best I'm going to get is six, probably. Uh, and I might have to go a bit far out to get anything more. Or I can get seven here. I'll tell you what, if we stick you there, and then what we can do is that. And you're going to need some water, so not done any pipes at all yet. <laughs> so I'm going to pick it up from here. I come along. Zoom out a bit so I can see where I'm going. Oh, I know I need to take it along. So you might as well go like that. As you can see, I'm a real expert when it comes to <laughs> laying pipes. <laughs> I'm going to bring that down to there. <laughs> Some nice angles going on. And 
going to do that. And what we've got is, um, as you can see, pipes all over the place covering everywhere that I need. Little industry zone here, um, which is, um, say, keeping things a little bit separate. And we'll eventually build this along here. I think I've got everything connected up. Uh, just to check. And should be. Now, zoning. So again, before I start time, I'm just going to that small. This is a key thing. When you um, start zoning, with the um, electric, and it's different from the water pipes, and the electric can be transferred from one building to another. And if I pop back to oh, here, this sun purple zone tells you where and sort of any buildings within that purple zone will be able to pick up the electric. So what I need is to have a building start here. And if I don't, and if I just zone all this area here, then you'll get houses building randomly along it. And then the houses up here are going to start whinging that they've got no electric. And it's because I built it at the wrong place. So I'm going to start there. I'll make that a little bit bigger. And I'm going to pop over and do the same with um, the industry zone. And I'm going to start here. And so that little bit there should just be enough um, to get the electric going. So we've got our sewage sorted, we've got our water supply sorted, and we've got our electric sorted. So we've got <laughs> just under five grand left, which isn't bad. And what I will do. Once we've got a bit of money left, I'm going to extend this a bit more. Because what, and I'm not going to put another junction in. And I'm going to there. And now, we need to get to the I'll start time in a second, actually. Uh, yep, yeah, that's electric, waste, and sewage. Those are the three things you need entrance and uh, into the city and an exit out we are good and what we now do i'll come over here is we will and uh, unpause time i'm going to speed it up and um, to maximum and as you can see we're losing money and uh, losing money um, rather quickly and um, not worried about that at the moment it's only because we've got nowhere to get money from now the houses have started building there, um, I'm going to start bringing this along a bit. Go this way, there we go. So yeah, money is dwindling away there. Uh, well that's fine. And we'll start making um, some money and once we get to and somewhere between four and five hundred residents. Uh, once we've got um, four or five hundred as a population, uh, say so we'll start to make money in the five hundred, and um, is when and um, you hit your first milestone, and you'll get about twenty thousand uh, in the bank, and so that will and um, should anyway clear and any debt that we have accumulated and, and give us a little bit left over as well that's the plan and then we can now start going along here uh, we've got there we go, 108 people uh, oh, 123 and we're doing well doing well, got some industry going on over there and so I'm focusing on this at the minute can start going along because the electric is going to go from uh, those properties to these what we'll 
do is we can put some shops on probably on the corner here and so do that nothing's flagging up with any warnings uh, which is good and everything's working as intended and I think we need some more industry by the looks of it and so D to here make that all yellow and I can make that bit yellow as well that should then um, create some demand for residential area and got commercial building up and ah welcome to my city of Springfield please do come in on them along I can go faster than they can and go okay, got some shops there um, it's fine or oh, we do need more industry and uh, so that's almost maxed out that which um, isn't ideal and so we'll stick in there and I can stick something on the other side of the road as well I will do all this bit I'll even that out there, there we go and you can see that the demand for residential area is coming back again slowly like I say, don't worry about the fact that I'm coming up to five and a half grand and in the red and we will bounce back it just takes a little bit of time and so the main thing is that and I'm set up to um, have a population um, of 500 so that I can hit the first milestone and get that 20,000 and by that point and I'll be collecting enough tax and um, to cover all my expenses I don't want to go and build too much industry um, because otherwise they'll mean that there's not enough um, people and they'll bugger off and that's not what I want and what I tend to do with those if you look at those three bars and uh, demand bars um, let's call them that demand bars and um, it's probably a better name but demand bar sounds good and um, is I'll keep the residential so the green one sort of as low as possible and then the other two tend to try and keep them about um, half full and to three quarters uh, that's the plan and now see you've got um, oh, the, there was um, a flashing symbol there that essentially meant that there weren't enough people um, which is what we don't want and we can set a lot of this up I won't go too mad So we're up to a population of, um, well, we'll call it 300. So get in there and you'll see uh, next to, um, uh, the, there's the bank balance and it says minus 220. And, oh, minus 209 now. And so that's going down. That was over a grand when we uh, first started time. Uh, and so going in the right direction. So between and um, sort of four and five hundred is when and um, start actually making um, money. Um, See, so we've got plenty of cars coming round. There we go. Happy days shops there and we can see what they are with the inspector torch this bit here uh, what you know you're a convenience store um, neighborhood shop and uh, you're another neighborhood shop so 
interesting design for a, a shop, but I mean, I'll, I'll go with it. <laughs> as long as you're here. Ah, and there we go. We're now making money. 156. And population of 417. And we need more industry. So, always along. And here we go. Let's so get you all signed up. There we are. Don't want it to be. You don't want it to be a maximum. Uh, and we need a few more shops. Apparently, so there we go. And so we're slowly chipping away at and that debt, and which is good. And another 80 people, and we'll get that 20,000 in the bank. Uh, and we'll get some of the bits and um, unlocked and um, as well which is good there we go that'll bring us some more money in let's see what what have we got what have we got and um, we've got oh, general store and um, i'm guessing the main is selling ice cream and um, oh pank pan oh, pancakes yeah. It's a drugstore and they're advertising pancakes. Okay. I don't know what sort of pancakes they are, but sure. Yeah, definitely a drugstore. That's what it says. Okay. And wandering along. Here we are. And every day's making money, making money. That's what we want. You can hear the chatter of people it's a nice touch I think yeah, well the demand bars are keeping um, roughly the same and better demand for everything uh, like I said we'll uh, let's pop over here because uh, I might put some sort of uh, like park something on the end of some of these all the way along now and that will do so it's a little bit at a time hey there we go population of 500 little hamlet and so what do we get we'll now get the option to increase the taxes uh, take out a loan and a few new bits unlocked there and as we can see uh, and if you look voila I've now got oh, 15 grand in the bank um, which is happy days indeed and on listen to the happy music <laughs> happy music and um, now what I'm gonna do um, is we need to take care of rubbish and um, now uh, if we go to this option here and um, we've got a landfill and um, which is four grand and um, or we've got a recycle center which is four times as much uh, and can't handle as much rubbish either and as much as the pollution is significantly lower and for now and just so that we can and um, get something going I'm actually going to stick you and um, I'm going to stick you I think I can probably get away with sticking you there. Um, don't think it actually needs any electrical water, if I'm honest. And uh, there we go. And that will last us a little while. And let's get some more and houses in. I'll put some more shops along there. And let's just have them opposite, just because why not? Oh, I've got a nice bit of uh, demand for uh, houses. So again, just keeping the ends clear, and we're getting a bit carried away, and we're not producing and um, enough electric, and definitely not. So, and again, we try and keep things green, and so I need another one of these, uh, which I will stick. Uh, let's see, can I stick it? Oh, I could stick it there. 
pop that there. And that should sort it. And there we go. And oh. And you guys are injured, you've not got enough electric either. So I need to buy another one. And there are easier ways to do it to do it. And uh, with the uh, probably a uh, I think it's a coal station. And uh, just pop that there. And uh, what is the other option? Yeah, a coal a power plant is called. And um, that gives you 40 megawatts and uh, which is more than we're getting from and um, the four that I've got there. And well you guys are gonna have to wait for your electric because I haven't got enough fun to and fund any more so please be patient and so we're not far off it and it's probably just uh, not enough wind so if we give it a moment what we should hopefully see is that um, that picks up that's what I'm hoping anyway and yeah okay well we're sort of teetering on the edge there and in fact we're making one more megawatt then we're using but it's still it's a bit close to the limit just bear with and guys just need another <laughs> three and a bit grand and I can uh, supply another and wind turbine to be some more electric and we can get some more industry going uh, and hopefully you're not going to use too much so I'm only putting a little bit there uh, I'm not going to make any more uh, residential area at the moment um, but I will top you up actually um, there we go, and and you know what I've forgotten to do? I didn't put the taxes up. Like it right up to twelve for everyone, and twelve. Sometimes you can get away with thirteen, but we'll whack it up to twelve for now. And we can take a loan, and of twenty thousand. And but if we look at the loan below, which we unlock once we get to a population of a thousand you get three times as much and the payments are only 253 it does cost you longer in the long run cost you longer cost you more in the long run even and it's over 260 weeks rather than just 52 and but you do get more and ultimately it's going to take less of a dent and in your and sort of weekly uh, income so and um, we'll do that we're now going up a bit more and oh they're getting a bit itchy now and when that goes red that's when you know you're in trouble and not a lot can do and well, we're just about making enough just need another two grand might see that they disappear but then once we get the electric sorted I'll come back and uh, that might happen and um, just have to see how quickly we get to the six ground that we need for another turbine and so I'm not going to do anything else until that happens and like I said don't want to take that line of 20,000 if I can help it and um, yes I am aware that you do not have any electricity I'm working on it just keep any taxes oh, we're not far off now we're not far off come on <laughs> so it's a little bit challenging and uh, to start off with and if you're trying to keep things green and I thought we're nearly there come on come on nearly five and a half come on oh some of you've got some electric on five six oh we're producing enough electric now 
if we look and uh, yeah we've got a bit of wind now <laughs> we've now got 10 and uh, megawatts spare and so what i will do is and to keep the demand going we'll make some more residential area we'll make some more commercial as well uh, along here and in fact we can go probably get away with doing that I reckon and now this um, this sort of area here I'm keeping this clear and um, because what will happen is and um, that'll sort of that will be amended and I'll upgrade that to a highway and bits as we expand and, and buy new areas uh, and which we can do already but this is uh, or can we no we can't okay uh, it's a little bit later on I think it's the uh, once we get to a th population of a thousand you get a first option uh, but it's not something that I need to worry about straight away and um, Come on, build, build, build. And what I will do is see what we've got. And I'm going to put another wind turbine over here. And to be fair, that can go because that will still provide electric. There we are. And that should give um, you guys plenty of uh, power. And you guys are doing all right for now. And it is a bit of a balancing game. Uh, I'm going to do that. And this bit along the bottom here as well. Might as well go all the way along for this bit. Why not? Here we go. So 860 people and just wait for some houses to, to to build and more people to arrive and so I'm not really spending um, money that I don't have to at the minute and in they come whizzing in and in you come that's it lovely stuff lovely stuff indeed and I could have um, <laughs> could have taken it from that corner there really but never mind and it's all one way it works it'll be upgraded and say at a later date and oh, look at all that coming off the industry zone wow that's uh that's really cool pollution yeah all right how how are the residents doing and um, yeah, I'm not going to build a school just yet. And um, it's very important to build a school reasonably early. And um, you do need to keep them to provide plenty of education. I'm going to do this bit along here as well. Just like to keep popping up with uh, various reminders that there's new buildings to be looked at, uh, and I will look at them. Um, yep, yeah, see, we're wondering about electric again. Uh, if we go to this view, and yeah, it's dropped a bit. Uh, it's a good job I put that <laughs> the turbine in there. Um, hey, there we go, thousand, and there we go, new area and a few new bits and there as you can see and industry specialization and forestry uh, I'll uh, be showing how to do that and in a, another video at some stage uh, it's quite a good one to to do to get some income in uh, a few bits there as well uh, that we've unlocked and, and we've got a bit more money now Look at that. So, better provide some more power, and since that's where we're we're lacking. So, in fact, um, 
I'll stick you there. There we go. That should hopefully take care of that. And uh, there we go. Happy days. Oh, we want more industry. So, to here, finish that bit off. And I'll pop a bit on the corner there. Uh, do that there. I'll need to extend that shortly. Okay, we're doing well, bringing in £1,600 and some money's going up. That's what I like to see. And now, you were whinging that there was no health care. And so, 10 grand, 400 upkeep a week. And, but that should keep um, people happy. I will stick it. I'll uh, we'll stick it there. Should be alright. There we go. That's made them happy. You saw those green faces. Happy days. Might as well just do all of you now. There we go. As you can see, I've got three power lines, and that is it. And I'm going to course some there. And now that symbol there means and there's crime. <laughs> so. We'll better buy a um, police station. And um, now, what I'll do? Uh, one, one. Uh, large road, please. Oh, well, can I get? Will that work? Yeah, I could do that just about. So I'm going to come just a little bit. And where's my police station? go I'll stick you on the end there because uh, then you'll use the electric from that and uh, whether you've got any water or not I don't know you have oh look look at that yeah that's where it's out well isn't it happy days see oh, off goes with police oh oh so it's a bit glitchy there when it tries to save and there we go, we are all sorted. Now it's just a case of we'll wait a bit uh, until the uh, the money rolls in. And pretty much that's largely what you'll be doing, I say at at this point. Just waiting for the money to roll in and it will build up. I'm trying to spend too much and try and keep at least, um, certainly at least 6,000 in there in case you do need to do another wind turbine or if you do decide not to worry about that and get the coal power plant. And so that's an option and entirely up to you. And I just like to try and keep things sort of nice and green and environmentally friendly. Um, now, I will set a policy actually, and um, when you set policies, they do generally cost you. And um, I'm not worried about those two because they can be a bit expensive. And um, when you start adding them all together, and um, the one I'm going to put in place is for smoke detectors, and um, because that will reduce the number of fires, and um, which is definitely uh, something worth doing and uh, so I'm not going to about the rest uh, I'm just going after as much money as I can at this point it's a bit of crime there uh, in the goods unlimited and um, building and um, oh uh, police are busy wow where are you oh, is that you there nope where are you Where's my police? 
No, that's not you. Where are you? You can take your time. You've gone the wrong way. I wonder if you have 10 police cars. Oh, there's crime there as well. Here we go, here we go. No, no. I thought that, <laughs> I thought that was then. No. Not doing very well here. Come on, please. Where are you, where are you gone? Well, I'm not sure what's happening with that. It does tell me. Got no police, no police cars in use at the minute. Oh, uh, there should be. I thought there's four lots of crime there now. What's going on? Five, oh, five now. All oh, two police cars in use. Is this? Coming around. There appears to be a lot of crime going on. Well, look at all that. All in the industry zone. The police can get there. That is, yeah, that's a two way road. Yeah, yeah, it's all two way. But it's not like they can't get around there. Come on, police. What were you going left, right for? Go, go that way. What's going on here? Okay, let's back that up to 110 at the minute. And then you've got 11 police cars free, so not 11, but yeah, I print the budget. Oh, wrong one. Do not understand what's going on here. The police just seem to be ignoring the industrial area completely. Because that's a one way road, that's why. Uh, that's why, that's my fault. Let's make that a six lane road. my fault so no one could actually get out that is my fault <laughs> that is what's going on and now what you'll probably see is yeah there you go six 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 seven cars there you go eight police cars then i'm going to go deal with that area nine ten all, all in use there we there we go <laughs> oh dear me oh and now what's going on here dearie me Dear oh dear. Right, anyway, the police will sort that out um, now. <laughs> and what we're going to do is um, make some more uh, industry. So uh, let's see. Now we can. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. It's going to come out a little bit. And then I'm going to curve it round. Okay, we're going to need to come out a bit more. Oh, no, that's gone wrong. Huh. Right, let's try again. Come out there. Curve it round. Curve it round again. 
Oh. Make it straight. And I'm going to come out probably to about there. Uh, there we go. And we'll now sewn all this bit up. And there we go. That will get us um, some more industry. So I'm not doing too much. And i so say it is an order case of at this point, and you want to, oh, need some more water, keep the demand for industry quite high. And go and finish that bit off there. Right. There, there, there we go. <laughs> so we've got everything sorted. Magic. Happy days. So there is, and um, so, and um, we've got up to nearly fifteen hundred um, population, and um, we're making money, uh, we're keeping things green. So all is good. Uh, and at this point, we don't really need to worry about traffic. That is flowing quite well. And so that is us started. Fantastic. And oh, a bit of a fire there. And let me quickly pop in a firehouse. Let's stick you next to the police station. Whoop. There we go. And that will sort that out. And then you. Oh, you know. You're right in that un <laughs> little tiny gap that's not actually got any water. All right, there we go. Fantastic. So we've got a medical centre, a police station, a fire station. We've got a landfill. We've got everything we need for um, a city and getting started. So I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> and let's stop things there. And so that should hopefully show you and I'd say simplish way and of setting your city up and making some money and remember you don't need to put power lines to every single building you need electric to just to one and then as long as they're close enough they can sh and electric can jump and we've got the two separate areas there uh, residential and uh, industry uh, and we've got the separate entrances for it as well and to help with um, traffic and so hopefully that's given you some um, sort of an idea on a way may not be the best way but it's a way that works and so we'll pick up from here next time uh, probably just um, trying to grow the city a bit unlock a few new bits uh, and then it will probably be the video after that where I get onto um, the forestry industry uh, and how to get that set up uh, and make some money from it and then yeah we'll see how we do uh, but thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to uh, give a like uh, and uh, of course um, do feel free to subscribe and until next time take care and stay safe Bye for now.